Most people will tell you that the traditional places to go are the Big Ben, the Buckingham Palace, London Bridge, Tower Bridge. However, I think there's much more to see in London rather than those perfect postcard images. So today I want you to spend time with me in East London. I'm going to show you some very interesting places and hopefully on the next trip you're going to consider at least some of those. Hey guys, we're going to have breakfast now in one of my favorite places ever in London. Uh, it's called Otolengi. <laughs> this is crazy. See the size of this wall meringue? So I used to come here every week or every couple of weeks when I used to work in the city of London five, six years ago. I'm gonna show you a couple of different things here. And then we will move on to different places in Spitalfield. But yeah, we're gonna have breakfast. We'll go to Brick Lane and we'll go to Shoreditch. This is London. <laughs> Scrambled tofu, sour bread, and salad. Sort of healthy stuff. I think it's actually delicious. Um, a lot, a lot of dressing and oil <laughs> and balsamic and stuff. But I guess this is very Otolengi style as well. So we finished eating here in Otolengi and Spitalfields. So now we're gonna go to different places, but let me tell you, this place was fantastic. It's a boat with seven illegal migrants from Turkey going to Greece. So I think they have a really good balance between art, so things like this, and shops and food stores and stuff like that. <laughs> so if you want to get a haircut here, you pay 53 pounds. So you're a fan of Oni, is that your like go-to? Actually, yes. Just the one coffee, guys? Uh, yeah. Yeah, for now, thank you. Wow, so man you... is... <laughs> You're just walking. carrying the camera, right? So you walk. can't drink a coffee, no? <laughs> Oatly, I think, for oat milk is the best. It is, yeah. Uh, I'll throw whatever, I guess for soya is okay. Or like almond milk. Yeah. Is this video sponsored by Oatly? <laughs> <laughs> you had so much promotion. <laughs> How can I find you? Alright. Thank you. Thank you very What's much, your, guys. What's your channel? Have a good day. How can I find yeah. your channel? Hi. Uh, yes. I can, uh, I can write down for you. Definitely coming back probably later because I'm very, very, actually very, very curious about this yeah, drink. Yeah, you need to try our mud dip, it's our yeah. signature drink. Looks very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, we're preparing a video about a day in East London. London. Oh, what's your YouTube channel Yeah, if you have your phone. People are generally very nice if you are nice to them as well. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's probably one of the lessons. <laughs> I cannot teach many lessons, right? But if there's one thing that I feel like is very important, just be nice to people and then good things will happen. We are still in Spitalfields Market. I just want to show you the other side. I don't know if it, the right word is hipster. I think it's more like a vintage stuff and cool stuff. In this point, we have a division between office area Brick lane stuff, more like uh, you know street art, like uh, curry and uh, bagels. And then if we go further to that direction, we have Shoreditch, which is a lot of hipster and cool stuff. Three different towns in a way, and it's just neighborhood. Whenever we think about Brick Lane, we think about curry, Bangladesh places, 
street art, bagel shops, but there's one thing that is even more interesting. We have a lot of vegan places. We're going now to a place called Mushis. What's interesting is that I feel like in Puerto Rico, <laughs> not in Brooklyn. Oh, by the way, I made a video about Puerto Rico, I shared my experience, so I will leave the link somewhere below. Exploring Brick Lane, we see that there's a lot of curry places and they're like a sort of a traditional Indian cuisine and stuff like that. But in reality, it's just Bangladesh. At some point, we need to try a curry here, I think. <laughs> This is a place where you find a lot of street art, graffitis and stuff like that. Many of these places are actual clubs, restaurants and, and, and bars. So this is the beauty of Brick Lane. You can literally find anything you want here, like absolutely anything you want. Special about broccoli, it's incredible. So Everything okay. special about broccoli. Looks like a tree, ah, and okay. um, it's really healthy for you. So it's like a library, like a bookstore, if you want, called Libreria, like in a Spanish name. I thought this is really, really, really a good place. Uh, it's a shame we can't film. conditions like no pandemic this place would be impossible to film and um, see now I'm going there now let's see what I can try mask obviously and it's funny because they have like Cuban song Somebody said this is a place to live if you want good chocolate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you have something like dark chocolate or...? We got dark chocolate with nuts. Just yeah. Like... That's all vegan. Brilliant. It's time maybe to stop the video. I'm gonna try the vegan donut here. Let's see. If you like this video, please feel free to press like. And if you wanna make my day, please feel free to subscribe below. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week.